and welcome back to The Average Prodigy. I'm Eli, and today um, we have a little bit of something different. So uh, if you guys are not familiar with this channel, if this is your first time um, coming over here, what's up? I'm Eli. I'm a 16-year-old from a small town in Indiana, and I recently uh, started a sports multimedia company where I... Uh, interview different professional and D1 athletes and just find out their stories and find out um, you know what makes up someone like that someone that just gets up to that elite of a level of um, you know not only athletics but academics and um, to hopefully not only help myself and help myself understand that and understand what it takes to get to that level but help you guys as well know what it takes to get to that level and how you guys can achieve it as well but we are not going to be doing that today. As you can see by this sling, I have an issue with my arm, and that is a torn UCL. So two days ago, I um, I had Tommy John surgery. So if you guys are not familiar with what Tommy John surgery is, it is the reconstruction of your ulnar collateral ligament. So um, uh, it's mostly caused in throwers, especially common in baseball and tennis. And um, today I'm just going to be explaining to you guys my story of uh, when, I, when I found out that I needed Tommy John surgery and the steps and the signs leading up to um, that. And um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first I think that we need to take this back to about January. So in January, um, that's when my high school team starts our winter practices. So, um, coming off of basketball season, we actually were still in basketball season. Um, you know, I was playing basketball. I was lifting three to four days a week as well as, you know, doing a bunch of conditioning. So, you know, I was putting a lot of strain on my, uh, my body, but especially, you know, my arm. So, um, we started baseball practice. We started, um, you know, throwing progressions, but, um, you know, the way my high school team does it, they don't take that stuff very seriously. And by stuff, I mean the throwing progressions, the stretching out, the icing, and just the arm care in general. Because especially as teenagers and as younger players, uh, that's something that's extremely important that not very many people think about. And I did not think about it. And, you know, look what happened to me. So, um, you know, the first probably four practices or so, I felt fine. I felt good. You know, my arm was like, you know, a little bit like eh, but I just figured, you know, whatever. It's probably just um, that I'm a little bit tight. I'm a little bit sore in my arm and my elbow um, just because I haven't thrown for about a year and, or, you know, six months or whatnot. Um, so I figured it's fine. You know, I'll just push through it because, you know, as um, especially as an underclassman, in particular me, a sophomore, my number one goal for this season was to make the varsity team. So, you know, um, in high school, being an underclassman, with, with that being your goal, and I think a lot of underclassmen, that is their goal. Like, they just want to be on the varsity team, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to do that. And, you know, I'm no, I was no different. And um, so, you know, despite maybe pain or sickness or, you know, whatever, I didn't care. I was just going to push through it anyway. So, um, you know, probably about the fourth week, um, I started like really feeling something in my arm and I was like, well, this doesn't really feel too good. Um, like I wonder what the issue, you know, wonder what the issue is. So I just, I, um, I saw a, um, a physical therapist and he just gave me some different arm exercises to do. And, um, you know, but I didn't really say that my arm was hurting. I was just like, it's just kind of sore and not like stretching out, uh, you know, properly. And because I thought that's what the issue was. So that's what I told him. And um, so I was doing those exercises um, with like lacrosse balls and just uh, that type of stuff. And um, so it didn't really get much better. And so around this time that it was not getting too good, um, I also started my travel baseball practices. So I was practicing twice a week with my travel team and then I was also practicing twice a week with my high school team along with lifting and still playing basketball. So um, yeah, a lot of strain was um, being exerted onto my arm and um, you know, I think something or a mistake that I made was I kept um, 
uh, I kept lifting like my full amount. I kept trying to hit records despite um, me starting those throwing progressions um, instead of just trying to keep maintaining the strength of my arm. So I was breaking those muscle fibers and basically making um, making my arm a little bit weaker in the process. And um, so that was uh, obviously mistake number one that I made. So. The mistake number two was that I had four baseball practices a week and I was throwing at every one of those baseball practices. So, you know, I would go to a high school practice, you know, one of the days of the week and I would throw a 30 to 35 pitch bullpen. And then that same practice, I would also take ground balls in infield. And, you know, for me, like throwing across the diamond, like, um, you know, short at shortstop and in third base, like I... I don't take anything off the ball like I, you know I, I'm throwing seeds and I think every third baseman and shortstop knows what I'm talking about whenever I say that that you're you're just gonna be throwing hard across the field and there's not really much you can say about it and it's just something that you that you do and inevitably you do it without even really noticing it to be honest so um, so yeah I was doing that and um, I was throwing each one of those practices and um, and you know, I was icing, doing biofreeze, ibuprofen, just anything I could to try and get um, that soreness out. Whenever in reality, um, it was um, it was worse than what I thought it was. So, um, about a month or so goes by of the practicing. Um, you know, by this point, we're practicing on the field, so you know, we're throwing farther distances, we're throwing more often. Um, you know, basketball's over by this point, but I'm still, I'm still lifting, um, pretty consistently, um, so, uh, so yeah, and then, um, around this time, it's 2020, so everyone knows what happened, boom, season's ended, school's out, and, um, so, yeah, that was tough, and I was not happy, obviously, at all, that the season, uh, my sophomore season was canceled, um, but, at the same time, I was like, okay, this is a good time for me to um, really take good care of my arm and uh, strengthen my arm and really get honed in on my conditioning, uh, mental and physical strength, and prepare myself for my summer season with my travel team. So that's exactly what I did. So uh, going into um, you know the quarantine, I um, you know I have a bench press and squat rack in my basement. I got a treadmill. You know I could run outside. So I was lifting every single day. I was running every single day. Um, I was hitting probably three days a week. Um, I was throwing three to four days a week and I was just going hard because, you know, I wanted to um, have uh, the best summer season that I could. But, um, you know, all the fields were stuff were closed down. So I was just throwing into like a net from a shorter distance, um, you know, in my backyard and whatnot. And I could really control, um, you know, how much I was throwing, where I was throwing, the speeds and stuff. So I was taking it very, very easy on myself. And so I was like, well, man, I'm taking it. I, I didn't really think about the fact that I was taking it easy on myself, but I was inevitably because my arm was, um, you know, was hurting. And um, so I still wanted to to get my throws, you know, my throwing in to keep my arm conditioned. But at the same time, I really wasn't, wasn't throwing. Um, at, at the at the level I really should have been so um, you know I was doing all that consistently and you know I was I was doing the lifting and in the running and um, and I was doing all that quite a bit and so um, what I wasn't doing very much was icing I was not icing uh, icing very much um, I wasn't taking you know too much ibuprofen um, or anything like that really no biofreeze um, but really by this point, um, my UCL was basically, um, was basically damaged to the point where I needed to have surgery. Um, and I didn't really realize it, uh, at the time, but, um, you know, yeah. So toward the end of, toward the end of the quarantine, um, uh, I could tell just with different movements I was doing lifting wise, um, that I, uh. I, I really couldn't do the same weights I could, you know, with like the military press and with bench press and things like that. Like, you know, um, I could just tell that, you know, I wasn't putting up the same amount of weight that I wanted. I wasn't putting up the numbers I, I that I wanted to shoot for. Um, 
and I felt like I was losing strength. But, um, you know, I just knew that my elbow was hurting, and it was just like I, I really can't do anything about it. So I just tried to, to push through it and, uh, and keep going. And um, so the quarantine ends, and so my baseball coach, my summer baseball coach, was like, you know, you know, we're going to start practicing. And because we, we haven't had much time to practice as a team and because you guys didn't get a, a high school season, we're going to start practicing like four to five days a week for like the next three weeks before we have our first um, tournament. So obviously I'm super hyped. I'm like, you know, we get to go play the summer season now. Um, you know, if you're a baseball player, you know, the summer season is, that's where it's at. You know, high school's fun, but summer's just, it's just different. And so I was hyped, you know, everybody on the team's hyped. And um, so we go to, into that first week of practice. And, um, you know, it's, it's me. I want to play shortstop on the team. Um, so it's me and it's uh, two other guys who um, are also uh, trying to play shortstop, including the, the, the coach's kid who has been on this travel team for, you know, since it's been around and he's been the starting shortstop. So, you know, um, it was going to be a difficult task for me to beat him out at shortstop. But, um, you know, I, I was like, I, I, I want to play shortstop. I got to do it. You know, I got to just give this my 110%. So, you know, um, with every throw, you know, that I was throwing in practice, you know, I was, I was, I was beaming it across the mound, you know, I was, or across the diamond, you know, I was throwing, you know, basically as hard as I could <laughs> just because um, I was trying to separate myself any way I could um, to hopefully get that position um, at shortstop. And so, at the same time that I'm doing this, after probably like the first three practices or so go by, um, you know, the way that my summer coach this year was doing things, we were throwing, um, we were filling ground balls and throwing um, for basically about a, the first hour of practice. So we were getting a ton of throws in, and then we were also throwing like, or at least I was throwing like one to two bullpens per week, and uh, you know, and I was throwing as hard as I could too. Um, so then, after um, after like this first week, I really start to notice that my 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 elbow is um, it's it's past the point of like hurting and it's injured. And I and I and I knew it. I knew that it was injured. Um, but I just didn't really I didn't really say much about it. And I just was like, I'm just gonna push through, and um, I'm just gonna ice the heck out of it. And um, and ibuprofen, biofreeze, just anything I could do to numb the pain while I was in practice. I was like, I'm going to do so I can just play this summer season. Um, so second week goes by. Um, nothing's really gotten a whole lot better. Like the same sort of situation um, is is happening. And, um, you know, my arm, it still hurts. It, I mean, by this point, I'm like, I know there's something wrong with it. And so I started, you know, looking up like symptoms of um, of, of Tommy John, and what it, I didn't even know what Tommy John was, you know, like obviously you're in the dugout, your friends are like, oh, I got to get Tommy John, you know, because my arms were today, but like I was actually thinking like that would it wouldn't be funny, but it would be like ironic that like I actually do have to get Tommy John. You know, I'm 16, I really didn't take it very seriously. I was like, I I don't think I'm gonna have to get Tommy John, but I still inevitably like looked up the the um, the symptoms of it and you know um, the process of where the symptoms start at up into the point of where you actually have to get surgery and then um, so yeah I did that and um, I just kind of in the back of my mind I thought that um, there was a chance that I might actually have to get Tommy John but I just I, I put that out of my mind and was like I just need to play and you know if my UCL just snaps then I gotta get surgery and I gotta rehab it fine but I'm gonna play until um, you know something like that happens. That was my that was my attitude that I was just gonna play until something in my arm just um, just broke and I just physically couldn't play anymore. So um, that's basically exactly what happened. Um, I, I I I kept playing, and so by about that third week, what was that third week? So probably about after the second practice of the third week, um, I told my mom, "Hey, I need to I need to see a doctor." And so I hadn't really told my parents at all about my symptoms yet. Um, I hadn't really made that known at all, um, just because I didn't want them to worry. I didn't want them to think 
you know much about it so I didn't really say much but um, yeah I, I ended up saying like hey I need to go see um, I need to go see a doctor about this so about three days later um, I, I go see a doctor uh, or actually I didn't even see a doctor I saw a physician assistant so I go in there I see the physician assistant and you know um, I got an ultrasound in the beginning of it and um, basically all the questions that the lady in the room giving me my ultrasound asked me um, about my arm I, I I said like no you know like um, does this hurt does that hurt and like none of it hurt and so it it kind of made me upset because I knew that the pain that I was going through whenever I was throwing and I knew that that it was legitimate pain you know um, as, a, as a athlete you know basketball and baseball and just that I love those two sports you know, I'm not going to just say that I can't play those two or I, you know, I can't play a sport. Um, I wouldn't lie about that. You know, like it was legitimate pain and, and I felt that. And, um, so I was kind of worried. I was like, you know, are they just going to tell me my biggest, my, my number one worry was that they were going to tell me to just take, take two weeks off. Don't throw just ice and you'll be fine because I, I, I just knew it was one of those situations where it's like, if you know, you know, and I knew like I have to get surgery on something in my arm because it, it was just a different, it was a different feeling. It was a different pain. Um, so then, um, you know, I, I see the, the physician assistant and she's like, you know, the ultrasound didn't show anything. Um, she was like, but what I think, what, what I'm worried about, and then she called the doctor, and they talked about um, the ultrasound a little bit. They were like, we're worried about your ulnar nerve. So your ulnar nerve is the nerve that is um, in your elbow. It's uh, your funny bone, um, you know, that nerve, that's what it is. So um, I was like, you know, that makes sense, you know, why it's hurts so bad, because, you know, if my ulnar nerve's getting pinched, that's obviously gonna create an immense amount of pain um, through my arm and you know in my whole body you know because it it, 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 it really it was a lot of pain so um, so that's what she said she was like I think it's the ulnar nerve um, but we can you know you can wait and um, w once the doctor comes in because the doctor was not working that day you know he was like you know we'll take one more look at this ultrasound and um, we'll go from there and figure it out. So I was like, okay. So she was like, you know, unless it's like an extreme amount of pain, you can still, um, you could still play uh, until you see the doctor again. So in my mind, I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to play, you know, one more. So the next, um, that was a Friday. So we had the weekend off and then we had um, a Monday practice at like an indoor facility. And so, the main focus of that night was throwing bullpens. So, uh, you know, I'm a pitcher, and so we were going to uh, to throw bullpens, and um, I hit for a while because I was like, I just don't want to, I, I really, I wanted to throw, but I knew that I was just going to be in so much pain that I just, I, I didn't know if I wanted to do it. So, um, I hit for a little bit, and then the coach was like, hey, um, and by this point, the coach knew that my arm, I just told him that my arm was sore. Um, I didn't tell him my arm was was injured or you know like really really in pain so uh, he just thought you know he was like is your arm like how's your arm today and I was like oh it's fine and um, so I walk over to my bag and I put on um, a tendonitis band because um, I I'd started wearing that to just like hopefully do something and didn't do anything and so I throw my first pitch and immediate just stabbing pains come through my arm just just I mean just it, it was it was almost it, I would I think I could confidently say it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life and um, so I just like take a deep breath and like um, I end up throwing like three like no I threw, I threw two more pitches and he goes um, he goes why are you taking like taking speed off your off your ball and I was like, oh, I thought you said we're only supposed to go 80% today. But, like, in reality, I knew, like, my arm is screwed right now. That's why I'm not throwing as hard as I as hard as hard I want to and as hard as I should be. And um, 
So he was like, well, no, just just do it. So <laughs> the next pitch, I, I, I aired it out. I aired it out, and... Um, it it just it was it was quite unbelievable the way that just from something like a ligament in your arm can make your whole entire body feel just completely nauseous and so after I threw that pitch I go over to the next case do my next set of five and he calls for a team meeting the whole time he's doing the team meeting I am I feel like I'm about to throw up I'm I've got cold sweats um, I'm, I'm seeing stars like I'm, I'm, I can't even think straight because my whole body is aching right now and it's all stemming from my right arm and I knew it and I could barely even stand up straight because literally the amount of pain I was in was just nuts, nuts. Like whenever I heard about stuff like, you know, people like you see those videos of people like whenever they just like really snap their UCL and it looks like man like how is that 6'4 225 pound MLB pitcher throwing 96 acting like a little wimp I mean it is it's excruciating pain it truly truly is excruciating pain and um and I'm not trying to complain about it or hone on it but I just want you guys to understand that I I almost want to be like a voice for those guys that you see that are like jumping around like grabbing their arm like it's it's legitimate pain and so anyways um, the only thing I could think about was how I could tell him that I needed to just go see a doctor so it was the weirdest thing I'm sure for him to think about and like for him to like have that experience but I walked up to him and I said I have to see a doctor right now and he goes you need what do you mean? And I was like, I said, my arm is seriously injured. I said, I have to go see a doctor right now. And he was like, well, you don't have to throw anymore today. And I was like, coach, I promise you my arm, it has a, a serious, serious injury and I need to go see a doctor immediately. So he was like, okay, well, um, you need me to take you? And I was like, no. So my mom came and picked me up. And, um, and so it, it, the whole way there, like, um, I mean, I was devastated. Like, I, I was devastated because I knew that um, I knew my season was over. I knew that um, I knew that just a lot of the things that I had had worked for throughout the whole quarantine and throughout the off season before that um, that they were going to be coming to an end for for the foreseeable future. I ended up going to the doctor the next day, um, and. Um, and so the doctor, he walks in and he, you know, just simple small talk and he just grabs my arm and he, he moved it. Um, I believe he moved it. So your arms like this, he moved it like backwards and frontwards. And so my, my arm was moving twice the amount each way that, um, that it should have been. And, um, he immediately said, he was like, um, you're gonna have to get Tommy John surgery if you ever want to play baseball again. And for for someone to say that, it it's it first of all, it sounds extremely cliche, um, and I know that that like you hear stories about people, um, like I know it sounds I know it sounds like very cliche for um, to like think about someone saying that like you either will never play baseball or you know insert a sport here again if you don't have this surgery. So, um, so end up scheduling the surgery for about uh, two weeks after that doctor's visit, and um, so that uh, that two weeks then was Monday. This past Monday, um, it's now or it was Monday, July sixth, and, um, and and I got this surgery, and I, I got Tommy John surgery, uh, the reconstruction of the ulnar collateral ligament, uh, along with they also moved my ulnar nerve. My ulnar nerve was on the wrong side of the bone, so they moved it to the right side of the bone. I hope that me um, explaining this um, was able to help someone out there who may have to go through this process and may have to um, to experience it. So um, you know, it's not very common for a teenager to need Tommy John surgery, but it's increasingly getting more and more popular um, than it has been in the past. But um, you know, I just I I know how it originally felt for me, 
and it wasn't good. But you know, one of the things that majorly helped me through this process was um, was my faith. So, um, you know, God, He never puts you through something for an illegitimate reason. You know, you know, God's not going to put me through this 20 week rehabilitation process along with you know me completely relearning how to throw and um, you know shoot a basketball and dribble and you know all this stuff um, you'll know, hit um, if it wasn't for a bigger and greater purpose and that's what's gotten me through this process so far and has helped me have a positive attitude through all this because I know that um, you know the number one thing that I can control is my attitude that's all I can control is my attitude and how much effort I give into this rehabilitation process in order to get back to um, myself so um, you know, I'm not going to get motivational, but I just want to show you guys through this process the things that I'm doing so that I can hopefully help someone else out there who wants to come out of the rehabilitation process better and as a better athlete than they came into it. I'm going to be starting a 20-week a um, series called the Tommy John Docs, where basically I just give you guys an update and a rundown on my progress each week um, through this process up until the 20th week. Um, where I will then be able to start throwing and, and hitting and um, and yeah so I, I'm extremely excited about this I'm extremely excited um, and some people may be surprised that I'm I'm extremely excited about this process because I know that um, that through this process I want to become a better uh, a better individual and that's what's so interesting I think about the rehabilitation process is you come in to it um, one way and you come out and you're you know a completely different um completely different physically person than you were going in so um so hopefully you guys um enjoyed this video um i hope that you guys got something out of this don't forget to go down there and subscribe to the channel and like this video and comment um any more questions that you may have about the tommy john the tommy john surgery what i've done so far um uh, through this process I just want to be an example to any of you guys out there on, you know, how I'm handling this process. So hopefully you guys can handle it um, in a positive and efficient manner, similar to um, to how I plan to go through this process. So, um, yeah, guys, um, just don't forget to go down there, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment any videos that you want to see in the foreseeable future. Um, I may do a Q&A over um, all of this soon because, you know, for the next week or so, I can't really do anything um, physically active. I'm not even allowed to run or I, I can walk, but that's really, really it. Um, so yeah, go down there and do that. And um, this is Eli from The Average Prodigy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.